on the mound, the legendary Leroy Satchel Page. Arguably the greatest pitcher this sport has ever seen. We know for certain the oldest rookie in the history of Major League Baseball. Now, Major League Baseball says that Satchel was 42 years old when he finally got his opportunity to pitch in the Major Leagues with then the Cleveland Indians. Most who knew Satchel believed that he was at least 10 years older than he claimed to be. Satchel was likely born into the early to mid-1890s in Mobile, Alabama. And so that birth record was typically kept in the back page of the family Bible. And according to Satchel, the goat ate that page out of the Bible. His original tombstone has a question mark by his birthday. Yeah, the old man literally took it with him to his grave. But when we talk about Satchel Page, there is really no one to compare him to. Not someone who combines the longevity. By his estimation, he pitched in over 2,600 games. The great stuff. Recorded some 55 no-hitters and only God knows how many strikeouts. And the charisma. He could sell it. Yeah, he could sell it. But he could also back it up. There will never, ever, ever be another Leroy Satchel page. On the ground, out to short. On to O'Neill. And that's the third out. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. Digging in, Bates. Page back to work. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. There's a strike. After Satchel Page pitched for Chattanooga, he joined the Birmingham Black Barons in 1927, which is where he broke into the Negro National League. Satchel comes to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Page dominant so far. Now the catcher up to hit. Hughes. And a curve misses outside. And that one fouled off. Satchel kicks and delivers. Nope, that's a ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 